Yes, I know my camera quality is crappy, so stop complaining, be kind, and rewind, because I like to, you know, I like to narrate everything I do, so if you really didn't understand something, then try to rewind. If it's not explained in that, send me a message about which video it's in, comment on my video of your question, and I'll do my best to answer it for you, so... Hello everybody, this is Chris is so pro. First YouTube Pokemon battle, so I hope it goes good. My good friend Stev, nicknamed Kura. Sorry about the quality of the video. My camera's really bad, but he starts out with Scizor and I start out with my Mesprit. My Mesprit's just made to reflect or light screen or both. But he goes for the pursuit, dark type, super effective. It's going to do less damage because I just set up that reflect, but you know. So here I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Lucario because Lucario's probably got the best hitting ability on it right now and you know it's just for now it's the best move I go close combat right here I switched into another pursuit which wasn't very effective but I go close combat and that close combat's gonna bring his health down. It's not gonna kill him though because it's not super effective, but it is still pretty strong with a 120 base damage. I mean, it lowers my defense. That pursuit's still not gonna kill me, cause, just because it's not very effective. And I predict the bullet punch and I leave in just because I've still got that reflect up. And of course, it doesn't kill me. It does a pretty good amount of damage, but my Lucario's holding a choice scarf, so. I was expecting it to hit, but the the Scizor just died of its own life orb. He sends out his own Lucario, which is pretty powerful, but since I've got that Choice Scarf advantage, I go for close combat, expecting it to win, but the thing stays alive just be by 1 HP because of its Focus Sash, which Focus Sash has always been one of my favorite items. I love that Focus Sash, but... Of course, he's going to go for his own powerful move right here. Forget what it is. Oh, he went... Yeah, that's right. He went for the sword stance to raise his attack, but... Yeah, he didn't expect my close combat again, so he switches out into his Cresselia. Take another close combat hit. Now, his Cresselia is pretty intense. It's like Blissey, except instead of Protect, it knows... Lunar Dance, so it could bring back up his old Pokemon with pretty high HP, which is going to bring up a really funny thing later on in the battle. That Lunar Dance is going to be the most hilarious thing, but here I go ahead and switch out into my Blissey. He gets off a Sunny Day. Now, you're not going to see why he uses Sunny Day in this battle just because I take out his Infernape pretty fast, but his Sunny Day is pretty insane. It gives up that special, hits that special attacker Infernape. The Infernape uses Fire Blast, but I start out, I set up a Stealth Rock. That Stealth Rock saved my ass. And that Toxic's not really going to hurt my Blissey, because, you know, it's a Blissey. It's meant to take this hit. Mine's got 699 HP. But I go ahead and return the Toxic. And he Toxics again. I asked him why he did that. But he apparently did that just to stall. I was like, why would you stall? You can't stall out a Blissey when it's poisoned. It's just it's just impossible. So he's basically like, you're absolutely right, Chris. Why am I stalling your Blissey? So he switches out his Cresselia, and he goes into his Medicham. Me, being the retard I am, decide to use Blissey as death fodder. Sorry about that, That if you heard that, it's my dogs, they're retarded. But, I actually attempt to Toxic the Medicham. What the hell was I thinking? That thing's probably faster than my Blissey, because my Blissey's really not that strong in defense, but it brick breaks. And so, yeah, there goes Blissey, all 600... 500, whatever it had after that Toxic. I'm not going to go pick up my DS again to look. But yeah. There it goes. <laughs> Super effective. Blissey goes down. I'm sorry, Blissey. That was stupid. But I sent out my Gyarados. 
because I know that the fighting's the fighting type isn't going to do that well against my flying, which I should have predicted before. But I'm going to go ahead and dra set up a dragon dance here. A dragon dance going to raise my speed and attack, which is going to give me enough just to take out his team. If it goes for a rock slide, it takes down about half my health hit points. It's a pretty good amount, but it's a pretty low amount too for a super effective attack. So, yeah, super effective. Gyarados would, is going to go for its waterfall, but it's going to hit the crest instead of the Medicham because he switches out. Takes some damage due to the stealth rock. And my Gyarados goes for the waterfall. Switch it out, took the waterfall. His Cresselia goes for defense and special defense. So they can get up that toxic and such. But Cresselia is hurt by poison, doesn't do that much. His Cresselia has got a Kustap berry. Or however you say it, but I pronounce it Kustap. And Lunar Dances. Now, his Lunar Dance is supposed to bring back his Lucario, but... He curses at this point because there's a Stealth Rock, and Stealth Rock goes out before the health gain by Lunar Dance. So the Lunar Dance is going to allow him to switch into his Infernate now, which is going to get hit by Stealth Rock and is going to get hit by my set Waterfall for the turn. Is it just me, or is it not that often somebody gets to take out three Pokemon in one turn? I mean, really. It's just amazing. That waterfall with one dragon dance on it is just pure stab. It's just going to take that thing out. It's not even going to live. His whole, his entire team's screwed by this point. And, you know, there, there it goes. It faints. I'm sorry I didn't speed this up. This just wasn't a long enough battle to speed up. There, here goes this Medicham. This Medicham's going to get hit by the Stealth Rock and another stab. My friend Annalisa was like, wow, Chris, that's really boring that you just keep using Waterfall, but, you know, why am I going to switch my move? Waterfall is pure stab. If the Pokemon doesn't die somehow, then it still gives the chance of flinching. And this was basically it because his last Pokemon's a Smeargle, which is just Spore, Spore, Belly Drum, and Baton Pass. So that was pretty much it. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's up, up there on the right. So, like I say, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and look forward to my other battles. Just send me a pri send a private message my way if you want to battle. Thank you again, and enjoy the shows.